okay so in the previous video we have completed our finish ui now in this video we will type a script for this so let me just disable that and right here in the scripts folder let's create a new c sharp script by the name of finish click on this finish area and drag and drop the finish script okay let me go inside the scene view here is the finish area okay let's open the script now in here since we will be using with the ui so at the top we will type using unity engine dot ui and then right here let me simply remove these two functions for now and at the top let's add a header by the name of finish ui variable and in here we need a reference to our finish ui then to our player ui and then to the player car so let's go ahead and say public game object and right here we will name this as finish ui then let's go ahead and create a reference for the player ui as well and then for the player car okay and the reason we will be needing these three is when the finish ui is activated then we want the player ui and the player car to be deactivated because later in the course the player car will have sound effects so when the finish ui appear we don't want the sounds effect to be played okay so that's why we will just simply disable the player car and on the player ui as you can see this uh, timer is the player ui and then in the future we will have the mobile inputs so that will be the player ui as well so when the finish ui is activated then we want all of that to be deactivated okay so after this let's add another header by the name of win slash lose status and in here we just need a reference to the status text okay which is this text okay you lose or you win so if you go in here here is the status let's click on finish area and drag and drop the status there and after this we will need to add the finish ui as well so add the finish ui there then for the player ui for now let's just add this timer okay because we don't have the mobile inputs we just only have this timer and after the player ui let's add the player car that's it now in the next video we will type a code for this finish ui okay in this video we have added all of the references so catch you guys in the next one